We're following breaking news out of Sylvania Township this morning where a police officer has been involved in a shooting. Both the suspect and the officer are in the hospital this morning. Our area on stop was the first reporter on the scene this morning. What's the latest? Amanda, right now we know that both the officer and the suspect are in the hospital. We're working to learn more details about their condition at this time, but we know that officer was trying to protect two women from a man who had assaulted them earlier in the morning. Now you can see it was in this apartment complex, the vicinity on Black Oak Drive, that police responded to a domestic violence call before five this morning. Now they say when they arrived, they found two women who had been assaulted. Ultimately, those women were okay. They did not need to be taken to the hospital, but the suspect got away before police got here. Another officer out on patrol actually spotted the suspect's vehicle, but didn't pursue him. Police didn't want to endanger the public by initiating a pursuit, but police say that this is a known suspect, so they decided to come back and get him with a warrant later. But if you take a walk with us a little bit more this way, you can see police were concerned that the man would actually come back to the apartment complex, and he did come back. An officer spotted him pulling into the apartment complex in his silver car you can see right in front of us and the officer got out of his car, according to the police chief, and started to approach the suspect. That's when he accelerated in his silver car. The police officer fired shots and the suspect peeled away, ultimately crashing into the back of this Jeep. You can see a little bit of debris and other items scattered about the outside of this car. Incoming backup officers rendered first aid to the suspect sitting there inside of his car and both the officer and the the suspect that man involved in the domestic violence incident were taken to the hospital. The police chief tells us he's not sure how many shots the officer was able to fire, but he says that he says they will be investigating that a neighbor tells me they heard five or six, but the chief kind of gives a breakdown of the events that happened this morning. You can hear more from him. It's a preliminary investigation. Yes. I don't have all the facts yet. We've got to figure this out but there's clearly damage to the entire uh, driver's side of the police car. The suspect accelerated, struck the police car. During that, the officer did fire shots and struck the suspect. Now, the police chief says that later today they will be holding a press conference to give further updates on the suspect's condition as well as the officers. When Chief Long wrapped up with us, he was actually on his way to the hospital around 7 this morning to go check on the condition of his officer. BCI is out here, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations, doing an independent review of the events that happened. We've been seeing them take pictures, knock on doors, and talk to witnesses about what they may have heard this morning. We'll continue to keep you updated on air and online with the latest information. Reporting live, I'm Ariel Onstott, WTOL 11.